Do you have these lying around your house? Old home videos that are sitting there collecting dust that your mom, your dad, your grandma, your grandpa may have shot on their old VHS camcorder? Hey. Oh my gosh, I missed myself. <laughs> oh, come on, grandma could use a little. <laughs> there we go. What? <laughs> uh, you're on tape, you know. <laughs> <laughs> 4k capture card 16.99 on amazon uh rca to hdmi 10.99 on amazon less than 30 dollars all you need is your vcr these a computer and obs obs is an open source software so it's free First step you're going to do is buy a device that's got the RCA in, HDMI out, and then uh, USB capture cards. Second step you're going to do is hook up your cables from your VHS to this converter. Yellow, white, and red. And, and it's going to plug into this. It's actually going to plug into your capture card like this, and then your USB is going to go into your computer. Alright guys, so the first thing you're going to want to do is open up your browser. And then what I like to do is just go to Google real quick. And then you can type in OBS. Okay, it's Open Broadcaster Software. There's actually going to be two things here. Streamlabs OBS and, and OBS, regu regular OBS, Open Broadcast Software. This is the one you want. You do not, you do not want Streamlabs. So now what you're going to do is pick your operating system, which is Windows, Mac, or Linux, whichever, whichever three you're using. More likely you're going to be using Mac or, or Windows if you're watching this video. So it's going to download up here. And then once it gets downloading, you're going to open file. And I'll go ahead and minimize this. And it'll start to open up here. So we're going to click Yes. And then Next. And then next, and then it's actually going to download to your programs file on your main drive. So we're going to press install. I don't know how many, depends on how many hard drives you have. It's going to go on your main drive where all your programs go. So it's going to download. And once it gets done downloading, I'm going to go ahead and leave that launch button up. So it launches when we press finish. So it's going to open up. Now, mind you, I'm on a 13-year-old computer here, so it will work on your newer stuff. So just keep that in mind. So here it says optimize for streaming recording or optimize for just recording. If you do not plan on streaming any kind of, any kind of video or whatnot online, go ahead and choose the second option. And then press next. Here's where we're going to check, click our resolution. I'm going to go down here and click uh, 1080. And then we're going to go down here to 30 frames per second. All right, so next. Apply settings, and then we're going to make this bigger. Now, this isn't a tutorial on OBS by any means. This is just to get you started to recording your VHS to your computer. So the first thing I'm going to do is I don't like this horizontal audio thing. So I'm going to right click here, vertical layout, now it's up and down like this. The second thing you're going to do in OBS is go to studio mode. That brings up these two, these two panels. So whenever you first get this launched up, all your video stuff is going to show on the preview page. I mean, over here on the program page, that's where, that, that's, that's the screen that's actually going to be recording whenever you hit this record button. But we've got a few minute, few more steps to go before we do anything, okay? So, to set up the video thing, first we're going to go down to this little square here, or little square, this little plus sign here, and we're going to press plus. And then we're going to go up to video capture device, okay? Video capture device. We're going to click that, and then we can either name it or leave it the same. We're just going to leave it for now. And then you see up here where it says device. Here's our USB that we plugged in for that capture card. So we're going to press that. And now we've got a blue screen. Okay. So this is my VCR is turned on and that's the blue, that's the blue screen that we have. Um, so before I press play, we're actually going to go over here to settings. Okay. Follow me here. You can pause it and rewind it if you need to. 
no shame in that. So we're going to go to settings, and the first thing we're actually going to do is we don't need output for up here because that's for streaming, but your recording this is this is vital. So right here is where the path of all your video is going to go. So what I would suggest doing is press browse, and depending on what drive and how many drives you have and where you want it to go, I only have one drive on this one, so I'm going to go ahead and open that up. I'm going to right click new new folder and then I'm going to call this OBS okay so now I'm going to highlight OBS and press select folder so now all your recordings are going to go into that one folder so you know where to go whenever you whenever you record and get done recording your stuff now the next step you want to do is go to advanced right here okay so all this stuff you're going to leave alone leave alone but it says automatically remux to mp4 you want to do this otherwise you have to manually do that and it's just one more step for you to have to figure out because the, the mkv files won't play on everything so what this does is once it's done recording it converts it from the mkv to the mp4 file so next thing you want to do actually is go up here to audio you see the sample rate so we're going to actually go from 40, 48 hertz to 44.1 kilohertz I said hertz earlier, it's kilohertz. However, now you see down here, it says the program needs to be restarted before it takes an effect. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to bring this down. So when we apply this, and then press OK, it's going to ask if we want to restart. Just say yes. And what it's going to do is restart and bring us back up to the main page, just like so. Look at split, right? Pretty good, pretty good, pretty good. So now what we're going to do is... Go back into settings. Now we go to audio, like we were before. We change the, the kilohertz. So we're just going to go to mic auxiliary one, and then this digital audio interface seven USB digital. That's going to be our capture card right there. So we're going to go ahead and click that, and then apply. Okay. So now what's going to happen? Now there's the other thing I was going to tell you. So to get this over to here, a lot of times you have to press this transition. So it's going to transition that video from there to there. So now we're going to press play, and we're going to see some old footage. And now you see how we're, our mic is going right here. Um, what we're going to try to do is get it up here just at the tip of the red, okay? So we're going to press settings, advanced, and then we got mic auxiliary. So the monitor is off if you have headphones or what have you, or even on your computer speakers, we're going to do monitor and output. So now you should be able to see, see all that stuff. So, um... Now, mind you, this is mic. So what I'm going to do, if you noticed, I pressed mute and mute. So I'm going to, I'm going to mute all this other stuff. All right. So once I've done that, I'm going to go into settings and throw a couple filters on here. Not too many, just, just one or two. So basically, what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably put a compressor, and then I'm going to put a, a gain. All right. And the only reason I'm going to do that is so I can bring the audio up just a tad bit so I can go up and what the compressor does is it just compresses the audio just a little bit so if there's any kind of peaks or whatnot it doesn't go overboard so just what I'm doing is I'm checking this here out here with the audio so it looks good so I'll go ahead and close and you just press record right here. I've already started recording it, but you press the CSS stop record. It's going to say record. You just press press record right there, and then it's recording the, in the recording the video. So if I uh, go ahead and press stop, now it's going to do the remux recordings. So now it's remuxing it to MP4, and then what I'm going to do is minimize that. Open up your folder, P4, 
PC, local desk, local desk, local desk, OBS, and there's my two folders. So this one here is my MKV, and this one here is my MP4. So now I'll just open that up. I don't have this, this one linked to the other computer, so you're not going to be able to hear the audio after I play it, but it's there. But that's it. All you got to do really is now is just press record and wait for the video to be over. And then once it's over, you press stop record and you're good to go. See where the hand grips are on the vest? It makes holding on a lot, lot easier. Recap, 4K capture card, $16.99 on Amazon, uh, RCA to HDMI, $10.99 on Amazon, less than $30. All you need is your VCR, these, a computer, and OBS. OBS is an open source software, so it's free. So anyway, I hope you found this educational. If you have any questions for me about this, do me a favor, either throw a comment down below, shoot me an email, I'd be more than happy to help you walk, help walk you through this. Thank you guys for watching. Bye. Start a little twink. Who the hell I are, you think? I'm not under the alcohol of alcohol like some think of peep I are. I fool so feelish, I don't know who I is yet. The drunker I sit here, the longer I get. <laughs> I love it. But it's so impressive that it doesn't matter how many beers you've had, you can still do it. <laughs> I love it.